courses out here like Bloomington and it's a little bit more open, a little bit more user friendly. In 2015, they came in and uh, redid the whole thing and so everything's got a whole lot more character to it in terms of green undulation, fairway bunkers, green side bunkers. We're pretty generous off the tee, but if you hit it in the wrong spots around the greens, and if the greens are rolling pretty quick, you can find yourself in some difficult places. These are all kind of the riverbed courses, so you'll notice out there you've got huge contrast between the green fairways and the more yellowish uh, Bermuda roughs as they go dormant. Bloomington is a private club for its members, but we do have the villas that are eligible to come play here when they stay there. One of the things that I love about the St. George area is every single golf course has its own unique signature. Hole 9 at Bloomington Country Club is a fantastic hole. It's a par 4, pretty straightforward. It's a, a longer golf hole. You know, I try to hit a drive down the middle of the fairway, ideally, and have about a 9-iron or an 8-iron in. The second shot has got the water all up the side, it's, it's everything you want. Some of the views you get on, on the ninth hole are spectacular. Depending on where the hole is, it's a 61 yard deep green with a hump right in the middle of it, so it can play anywhere from 130 yards to 180 yards. It's not the hardest par three, but it certainly uh, presents its challenges. Beautiful golf hole. I've golfed all over and you get spoiled down here because the scenery is outstanding. I've never played anywhere that has better scenery.